Hot My Phone connects phone activity to email. You can see SMS, MMS, missed call details simply by checking your email. You don't need to download any special application to your tablet, it just works. So let's have a quick look at Pop My Phone in action. I'm using a Google Nexus 7 tablet. I'm in my Gmail client. It's a standard tablet. It's on Wi-Fi. It doesn't have 3G or anything like that. So I'm using my email. Uh, my, I don't have my phone with me, but I'm told by Pop My Phone that somebody tried to call me. I have a missed call from Andrew. Um, so I know that I should call that person back because he probably wants to talk to me. Um, but before I get a chance to call that person back, I get an SMS. Uh, that's also been sent by Pop My Phone. It tells me that um, Andrew will be late home tonight. Now, note in that email, there's a, not just the message, there's some other service information. It tells you how many messages you can receive. It tells you how to reply. There's quite a lot of information that at some point you may want to turn off when you get to know Pop My Phone. You can do that by going into settings. So here we are in settings in Pop My Phone. Yeah, whilst we're there, let's just look a look, take a look at the activity. So I can see I've sent and received a number of SMSs today. So I want to turn that service info off. You can turn it off by scrolling to email and there, there's simply an option to turn service information off. While you're in settings, it's a good opportunity to explore what else Pop My Phone can do. For example, you can choose which actions to send to email. You can also choose to divert SMS messages to another phone. It's a paid option, but you can try it for 30 days. Simply select the option and enter the phone number where you want those messages to go. I go back to my Nexus. I see that I've received another SMS message from Andrew. It says he'll be home in five minutes. Um, at which point I'm checked to see that uh, I no longer have those service information messages. I don't, so the upgrade was fine. I now type a reply and that will go back to Andrew on his phone. Let's just talk through what happened. When I sent the email from my Nexus 7, it went through the Pop My Phone servers and ended up in Pop My Phone on my mobile phone. You can see here the conversation. I will be home late tonight, I will be home in five minutes, and my reply, good. That's just a small example of Pop My Phone in action. As well as sending those SMS and missed call details to email, Pop My Phone can send phone location, it will send logs of phone calls, so you can have a complete backup of your phone activity within your email. 